Critical thinking is a major component of any science curriculum because the entire scientific method is really based on uh, being able to analyze and evaluate and synthesize new information. And our curriculum reflects that. We build up those skills at every grade level to make sure that every child can take a situation, uh, gather data on it, evaluate that data, critically think about the process they use in that experiment and what impact that has on the meaning for the experiment and then also articulate those results and those conclusions in a very clear and concise way. I had a really great experience with one of my biology classes in a collaborative learning setting. Uh, we were exploring a very complicated, conceptually challenging genetics problem that discussed the inheritance pattern of multiple genes. And the one rule for the class discussion was that before we move on to a different question, every student has to come to a consensus on the answer. One of the answer choices was really attractive. It was wrong, but it was a really attractive wrong answer. And I remember every student going around the room and picking that answer and feeling pretty good about it until they got to the very last person. And that, that last person was really brave and took a huge risk in saying, no, I don't think it's this one because I saw this in the question. What do you guys think about that? And as a group, they all sort of pulled back from the answer they originally chosen, thought about what their fellow student had said, and then actually move towards the right answer. And it was really impressive to see them working together as a unit like that uh, without any assistance from me. And I really enjoyed the classroom and having those interactions with students. That kind of planned out learning progression for each child, I think sets us apart.